Hey everyone, it's Emily with Hardy Soul. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be wrapping up our Waldorf doll. I know everyone's probably really excited for this episode and I can't wait to see your finished dolls. Now you're going to have to go ahead and grab the pattern first and I'm going to put that in the description below. Get your body pieces cut out and then you'll be able to follow along from there. So first it's really super important to get your fabric lined up first. So we're going to do some sandwiching here with this fabric and this will just make it a lot easier to hang on to the fabric, keep it in place and then sew it a lot easier. With these small parts, this little trick is one that I use a lot when it comes to making doll things. We're going to trace our pattern pieces right on top of the fabric. Then we're going to take our pattern pieces right over to our sewing machine and we're gonna sew right on top of the penned line or the line that you traced for the parts. And before we sew, Make note of all of the openings on the body parts. For instance, around the body where the arms and legs attach, as well as the tip of the toe. Just be sure that we're not sewing these holes shut. So now let's take it right over to the sewing machine and we're gonna do a triple stitch again on the sewing machine to make sure that everything is secure, all of your stuffing will stay inside, the limbs can be pulled on or tugged a bit and it won't fall apart. Once we get the limbs finished and all of the pieces are cut out, then we're going to sew the toe. You're gonna to have to turn all of the appendages inside out, including the body piece. So once you have everything turned right side out, then we can start stuffing. And we'll start with a leg or an arm, whatever you like. And we're gonna do the same stuffing technique for each of the limbs. So first we're gonna start with putting the beaded glass in the bottom of the leg or arm. And once you get that about three quarters of the way filled up, then we're going to add a small piece of wool to make sure that that glass stays put. Once that glass and wool are in your doll. You wanna make sure it's packed in there very tightly. We wanna sew at each crease of the arm and the legs. So at the elbows and then at the knees for the legs. So repeat this process for each arm and each leg. So glass at the bottom, stuff it to the top about to the knee with some wool. Then we're gonna triple stitch the knee joints and then add more glass to the top part of the leg and more wool to the top part of the leg. Once we get the appendages completely stuffed, then we're going to sew them off with another triple stitch at the top of each appendage. We're gonna do a couple different stitches that you see here. Once we have that done, then we can start sewing the appendages to the body itself. So you'll see first we're gonna flip the arm this way and we're going to sew along this line here. And then you're gonna flip that back out the right way and then tuck the flap on the back side under 
and we're gonna do a hand stitch ladder stitch here. And again, three times the charm, and we're gonna go all the way around the arm hole. And again, we're gonna repeat this process with each arm and each leg. Once you get all of the appendages attached, then we are going to insert the head into the body. I use my hemostat for this process, and I put the hemostat through the opening of the body hole and then up through the neck hole. And then I will grab the bottom of the head, part of the neck fabric, and I will pull it through the body. It takes a little tugging and a little bit of time but the results are awesome. So by doing this, you'll notice sort of a flap at the top of the neck. We're gonna push that down so that it's a finished seam all the way around the neck hole. And then we're going to ladder stitch around the neck three times, ladder stitch. Once that's finished, then we are going to stuff the body. So again, similar to stuffing the limbs, we are going to add some beaded glass and then wool and beaded glass and wool and I just do kind of layers and I make sure it's mixed in really good and nice and full and again if these dolls are going to be anything that's going to be played with a lot you're going to want to make sure that they are nice and packed to begin with so you can fill the whole thing with glass you can fill the whole thing with wool if you'd rather I like to do a combination of glass and wool and glass and wool and kind of combine the weight Again, the weight is up to you. You can add as much or as little of the glass, which is the heavier of the two materials, to this doll to make it heavier or lighter. And then once the doll's body is stuffed, we're gonna close up our side seams with, again, yes, you guessed it, a triple ladder stitch. And we're gonna sew that seam right up on the side, and then just like that, your doll is finished. I'm so excited to see the results. I can't wait. For you to have a finished doll and the next thing your doll is going to need is clothes. So I'm going to put a couple patterns that I use to make our dolls clothes down below here so that you can explore and figure out what's best for your doll. Wrap the doll up in a blanket and just enjoy the job well done. Congratulations, you did it. You made a Waldorf doll. Thanks so much for joining me and thanks for coming along on this Waldorf doll journey with me. Have a great day.